Dr. Betsy Collins. I'm a generalist obstetrician and gynecologist at Emory University. And today we're gonna to be talking about second trimester breastfeeding education. Now that you're entering the second half of your pregnancy, it's time to start thinking about your delivery. The first thing to consider is how you're gonna manage pain when you're on labor and delivery. We really have three main options for managing pain. First of all, we're gonna talk about unmedicated options. Things like walking, warm bath or shower, meditation, massage, breathing exercises, or bouncing on a ball. All of these options are great and have no impact on your ability to breastfeed in the delivery room because you won't be receiving any medication that could be sedating or impact your thinking in any way. And it also won't impact your baby in any way. Those methods work fine for some people, but sometimes they're not enough. If you're interested in medicated options, the next best choice, in my opinion, is epidural anesthesia. Epidural is very commonly used in the United States, and it's excellent because it's pain medicine that's isolated to the lower half of your body because it's delivered to the epidural space in your back. It's great because you're numb from about the ribs down, but you're yourself from the ribs up, so you can interact with your family and your baby, and it has very minimal impact on breastfeeding in the delivery room because the medication doesn't really cross the placenta. Lastly, we have IV anesthesia, which is typically an opiate-based pain medication, and it can be sedating. It can impact your ability to breastfeed in the delivery room, and it can impact your baby's ability to interact with you at the time of birth because it can be sedating to the baby. It can make it harder for the baby to breathe and be uh, alert at the time of delivery. So we really try to not use it as you're getting closer to the time of delivery. That also means that it's not available to you when you're in the most pain. So if you need a medicated option, my strong preference would be to recommend epidural, although both of those options are, are available. Now let's discuss what happens at the time of delivery. Once the baby's born, we're gonna place the baby on a warm towel on your belly and dry the baby off vigorously. That's gonna help the baby warm up and start breathing. We're gonna wait for about 60 seconds before we clamp and cut the umbilical cord. If you or a family member or partner would like to do that, we're happy to let you cut the umbilical cord at that time. And then we're gonna get the baby moved up onto your chest, skin to skin with you, for about the first hour of life, but really until the baby completes its first breastfeeding. Sometimes that takes a little bit longer than an hour and sometimes it's a little bit less. The reason why we do that is because it's the best place to keep the baby warm and calm. It helps get the baby interested in eating, it helps regulate the baby's blood sugar, and it helps you start to produce colostrum, which is the first type of breast milk that you're going to make. Once the baby's eaten at the breast, if we wanna go ahead and weigh the baby, or if someone else in the delivery room would like to go ahead and do skin to skin with baby, that's the time to do it. But for that first 45 minutes to an hour, the baby will be on your test spending time with you. If you have any questions, please let us know. I know that this is a very complicated process and can be a very stressful time for everybody. So it's really important that you reach out to us and let us know if anything doesn't seem like it's going right. We wanna to try to answer your questions and make sure that you're getting the attention you need in order to have a successful experience. So again, please make sure that you reach out to us anytime.